That's right. We're saving you a little bit more with your freezer this morning. Heidi, thanks. Is it costing you more than it's saving you? That old freezer? Then you gotta know the top tips that will help you get the most bang for your buck. And joining us now live is Chief Executive Savings Angel. That would be Josh Elledge. Josh, good to see you. Yes, thank you so much. All right, so you have four tips this morning that can save us money in the freezer. And I guess the first one, the most important thing, is you can freeze just about anything, right? Yeah, that's absolutely true. The USDA says that you can safely freeze just about anything. There's a few, just a few items that the quality might not, you know, right, be, as good. be okay. as good. Yeah, things like lettuce and creams and uh, mayonnaise, probably on the, you know, the lower desirability list. Uh, but pretty much anything that's in your refrigerator, it, look, if you're going away on vacation and you're thinking, oh, should we just throw this stuff away? Right. No, stick it in the freezer. You can freeze like eggs, you can freeze dairy, you can really? freeze cheese, absolutely. Strawberries, fruit, Stra all that stuff? Well, of course, yes. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, eggs, you obviously you wouldn't freeze them in the shell, but you'd break right. them open into another freezer safe container and they will last. They'll last quite a while in the freezer. And uh, again, when you thaw them, they might have a different consistency. So like milk, for example, you wouldn't, probably wouldn't drink it with cookies, but you could use it in for cooking and baking and it should be just fine. All right, that's good to know. All right, how long should you keep stuff in the freezer? Because I know like my mom is really good about, you know, wrapping everything and putting a date on it and, you know, sticking it in there so you know how long it's been in there. I mean, yeah. can you keep it for almost forever? You know, according to the USDA, you can keep anything in the free so long as it's kept at zero degrees okay it's good forever it's safe forever now there you'll have degradations in quality and I have actually have a great list that you go to my Fox Orlando and you click on the deal of the day and you can click and print this and actually put it on the freezer and it'll give you the dates uh, for each uh, for each things that when you'll want to use them by to make sure that you have the highest quality all right well that makes sense all right let's talk about keeping the temperature at zero because that really is going to make a big difference for everything is you know it? some people think well I'll just turn it up to one or two degrees right. save some money on my electricity bill do not do that um, the instant you do that you, you you're not at zero degrees you, you have the opportunity to uh, have bacteria all right uh, get and involved good. and yeah freezer burn etc all right and you got to pitch it let's talk about freezer burn because that's yeah. the other thing how do you recognize freezer burn mm -hmm. what should you be packaging the food in so that you don't get freezer yeah. burn it has to be the, the thing with freezer burn is it needs to be airtight you want to use small containers when you get meat from the uh, from the grocery store that thin straight Drink wrap is not going to be good enough. It okay. needs to be over wrapped or re wrapped. My litmus test is if you could take the container and you could submerge it in water for a minute and it's good, water's not going to get in and stuff's not going to get out, then right. it's probably fine. Otherwise, it needs to be re wrapped. Now, all freezer burn is is dehydration. Okay, that's, that's all okay. it really is, is the water just wants to escape from that product into a cooler part of the freezer. And so, again, if you rewrap that, you shouldn't have the problem. Now, if you do have, like, meats or whatever, and you have some freezer burn take set, you don't need to throw it away. You don't need to throw the whole thing away. Okay. If you don't want to eat that part, that's fine. Just cut it away and use the rest. Okay. Uh, I, I've, I've, we've had in our own home, you know, my wife's seen, ooh, freezer burn, <laughs> throw the whole thing away. It's rotten. It's not. It's just water that's escaped from it. All right. And is there any packaging that you particularly like to, to prevent it that will actually be really good yeah. because I know sometimes I tend to skimp and I'll be like oh I'll just buy the store brand on that and oh no that's fine okay. as long as it, it just has to be airtight and it has to be you know so water you know water right. will escape eventually through anything but again you just you know the, the best quality you want to make sure it's all sealed all right. you know get all the air out and and you should be just fine all right so when in doubt don't throw it out stick it in the freezer yeah. there you go thanks so much Josh Ellen chief executive savings angel good to see you this morning thanks Amy all right my Amy, thanks. Welcome back to Good Day 939 right now. If you are making your grocery list out as we speak, listen to this. We've got some deals here that could really help save you when you go to the store this morning. And Savings Angel Josh Elledge is back this morning with our deals of the week. Yes, All yes. All right, you've got lots of good stuff here. Yep. Let's get, let's dive right yep. in. And these, again, these are deals that anybody watching, can, you can go out and get these exact same deals. We've got all the details online. My Fox Orlando, click on deal of the day. Okay. And we've got all the details right there so that you can get these same deals. Now, first off, this is a very easy one. Who's got the best price on uh, milk this milk. week? You know, some people have the pump patrol. Right, and, right, you know, right. Well, I've, I'm the milk patrol I here. I'm going to tell, <laughs> tell you where the lowest price on milk is this, that, this week. And it's actually at CVS where you can get TG Lee milk. Normally, $3.99 on sale for $3.19. And then they give you $1 back at the register, wow. which means you get a gallon of TG Lee milk for $2.19. That is That's less than cheap. That is less than half of what they charge you at Walmart. 
Walmart, it's like Gosh. 4 59 It's really that's expensive. Really cheap. All right, so CBS yeah. for so the milk. 219 yep, okay. that's yep, that's where you go for your milk this week. You don't need any coupon. They'll okay. give you the coupon at the register. Use it on a future transaction. All right. All right. And uh, let's see. Let's go to the uh, Walgreens right here with the okay. PD Care. This is a great deal. Normally $7 if your kids get the sniffles, they've sure. got the colds, you want to help them out. Um, again, normally you'd spend $7 for this. Now they're on sale and um, there's you have to use a coupon in the Walgreens flyer. It's going to make it $1.99. Wow. Yeah, which is a great sale Stock by itself. Stop on this because you know you're going to need it if you're Absolutely. a parent, right? Absolutely. Now okay. there are also $1 coupons we've got all linked up on my Fox Orlando. Just click and print those out. Now what's really cool is when you buy your first one, they're going to give you at the register, at least they did for me, they're yeah. going to give you another $1.50 nice. coupon for your next purchase of Pediacare. So what do you do? You go back, you get buy another, another one. one. Yeah. Sure. And so you end up kind of, you just kind of repeat this deal over and over again. You're getting these for 50, 99 cents. I mean, that's, wow, this that's is $7 great. product, which that's is just really fantastic. Good. Yeah. So you can get all your cold care. Boca Burger. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, my, my vegetarian friends out there, um, if you want the uh, the chicken patties or the or the hamburgers and the vegetarian uh, formula, Publix has a buy one, get one free, okay. normally three sixty five. buy one, get one free, and then there are also $1 and two coupons you can print right now, bring into Publix, and you'll end up getting these for a $1.33 a piece. Again, these are normally three sixty five. so that's okay. a great deal on this product. And as we know, we can freeze anything for oh, a really yes, long yeah, time, yep, so yep. freeze them. Okay. Yeah, and so, again, and this whole every every week this in March I'll have frozen frozen food products right, yeah because there's so many it. great deals now uh, dental floss you know just like toothbrushes and toothpaste never pay for you can always get these things for free this week is no exception really? you can either go to Walmart where this product is normally 99 cents or you can go to Publix um, where it is um, on sale for 99 cents and there are one dollar coupons again even if you don't collect right. coupons from the Sunday paper if you can click print uh, you can get these coupons you can bring them into Publix get your dental floss for free and flossing is so important yeah it gets rid of all that nasty bacteria between your teeth you gotta <laughs> floss right you can't just brush all right let's talk about orange juice uh yeah so you have uh old orchard 100 percent juice they've got all their varieties you can actually get for as little as 50 cents wow. normally a dollar 50 they're on sale for buy one get one which by itself is a great deal 75 cents now to make it even better we've got one dollar on four coupons print out a few of those bring them into Publix and you're getting your juices for 50 cents uh, a can yeah Josh. that's a really Very great deal for cheap. juice load up at that price all right so just to remind everybody milk at CVS mm -hmm. Pediasure, sure go to Walgreens Boca go to Publix, Publix yep. right dental floss Publix Wal and Walmart, Walmart. Yep. Okay. Walmart or Publix all right and then finally yep get your juice at uh, Publix I want get one yeah on the old all orchard right. that's a great deal enjoy all right Josh thanks so much we appreciate all you those bet, wonderful Amy. tips the chief executive is savings angel again you can find him at savings angel com or just go to myfoxorlando.com so great to see you thanks amy all right let's send it over to you guys how much is the milk josh 219 i just paid four bucks yesterday yeah. oh that's why we got josh salad that right there it saves you money 65 degrees and i'm going to get some more because you can freeze it right josh you can freeze the milk 65 out there in orlando